It's the September issue of the Arizona Highways magazine, and this issue is jammed with special anniversary photos, which you'll find out in just a moment. Joining us with a preview is Robert Steve, editor in chief of Arizona Highways. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. It is our September issue already, or yeah. yours. I mean, I'm. You come every month, and I feel like it's mine as well. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be thinking of a few months ahead, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it's still August, but not for long. No. And so our September issue, um, you see the cover there, we're actually celebrating the uh, 50th anniversary of something called the Wilderness Act, which was uh, signed on September 3rd, 1964. And what that did, it created wilderness areas, which are the most protected lands on earth, actually. You, uh, they're really intended to, to look as they did from day one when they, they were created. And so can't even take mountain bikes into wilderness areas. So uh, in this issue, we, we take a look at some of them around the state. What's interesting, Arizona actually ranks fourth in the country in terms of having the most wilderness areas of any state. So we have 90 wilderness areas, and we look at just a handful in our issue. Wow. So what are, what are some of the things that um, viewers could see in there? Well, you know, you saw in the cover, uh, which was Saddle Mountain Wilderness, this one here is actually the uh, Kachina uh, Wilderness, which is up by Flagstaff. So if you've been up there and you've seen the San Francisco peaks and those mountains, uh, most of them are protected by the uh, Kachina Wilderness. I was just up there. I hiked up on uh, Humphreys on Saturday uh, with a group of, uh, of our readers, actually, and it was, it's beautiful. The, you get up there, and it's the highest point in the state, and it's also very well protected thanks to the, to the Wilderness Act. So you can't take, like, mountain bikes there, but you can hike? Yeah, you can take hike. Uh, you can hike in. You can okay. take horses. But the way the Wilderness Act was written, you can't build roads. You can't take mountain bikes in there. In fact, when the rangers are grooming trails, they can't take chainsaws in there. They have to go in with saws, saws oh. and axes to, to groom the trails uh, the way it would have been done way back when. So it's, if you're really looking for the most pristine Mother Nature you can find, uh, you'll go to the wilderness areas. Wow. And you said you took a group of readers up there. Is that something that you normally do? Uh, we actually, uh, as part of the wilderness uh, anniversary, every month for the last few months, we've been leading a group of hikers, uh, readers. We actually found them through our Facebook page and, and took them into different wilderness areas around the state. It's been great. And we've had folks from Arizona Game and Fish and, you know, biologists and naturalists along the way. So it's been a pretty cool Pretty cool summer for us. Sounds like it's it. It's amazing how you find these areas. What are we looking at right here? This is actually a shot um, of the uh, Sycamore uh, Canyon wilderness, and the photo is uh, a little out of, uh, a little distorted there, but uh, one of the really most beautiful places in Arizona is Sycamore Canyon wilderness, and uh, Sycamore Canyon is the second largest canyon in our state after, of course, that big one that yes. they call the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but it's a, it's a spot not many people go to. Uh, a lot of these wilderness areas, as you might expect, are a little more remote. Uh, the Sycamore Canyon wilderness area starts in the Verde Valley around Cottonwood, and it goes all the way up to Williams up in the northern part of the state. Really, really beautiful place. Mom. Oh my goodness. So, so how, are, you, are you the lucky one that gets to take pictures like this? <laughs> no, I could only dream of taking these kinds of photos. I, uh, I'm a word guy at best, um, not a photographer, but we have a lot of really remarkable, talented folks out there. What you're seeing here is the uh, Perea Canyon, uh, Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness uh, area up in northern Arizona. And you can see by the images, you know, there's a lot of variety in Arizona. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we're always trying to show people that, that we're not just a desert mm -hmm. um, and that we have a lot of variety in that. Uh, the, these shots are really illustrating it. They're just beautiful. And then the last one, we have Mount Baldy Wilderness. Yeah, yeah this is one of the hikes we did with our, with our uh, readers as well. This one's up uh, in the White Mountains, if you've heard of Greer, Arizona, and up in that area. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a, Mount Baldy is actually the second highest uh, peak in Arizona. Uh, when we went up there, uh, we took um, uh, some, we had somebody from Game and Fish who was the expert on uh, Mexican gray wolves. And so he was along uh, with us and uh, talked. We were listening to the wolves on the telemetry <gasps> devices and things because they're all radio collared. So uh, these are the kinds of things you get out in our wilderness. And, you know, it's always good to get off the couch and get out and explore our state. Uh, but uh, the wilderness is something something even more special than just a typical trip to a national park. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you've been everywhere in Arizona, but can you pick like one of your most favorite spots that you've recently went to? Oh, well, you know, I, I, I get that question on occasion. <laughs> and, you know, I'm like the parent who has to love all of his children yeah, yeah. equally. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm pressed hard enough, I'll tell you that the North Rim of the Grand Canyon 
uh, the cover shot that you saw, the Saddle Mountain Wilderness, that's up in that, that area up there. And then, of course, uh, you've got the canyon itself. Okay. And it's just, it's very remote up there. Um, and it's really spectacular. And, and you know, the, 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 the climate is so different that the road actually closes in October because they get too much snow up there. So if you're going to go up there, you have to make plans pretty quickly. Right. So. And very <laughs> that's right. So very quick. Robert, thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much. And subscribe to Arizona Highways Magazine by calling 800-543-5432. That's 800-543-5432. Or by going online to ArizonaHighways.com. Coming up, we're kicking off the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, uh, Southern Arizona's Speak for Animals Telethon. Any donation, big or small, will go to help the pets and the people who love them. Find out how you can make a difference when we come back.